So I know that fall and winter are behind us. We're already in the throes of spring and summer's right around the corner. So some may say this fragrance is not the best time to be reviewed, but in my opinion, this is a great date night fragrance because I feel like gourmand fragrances work so well for date night. So today we'll be talking about a fragrance from the house of Menos Garakinis. The fragrance is Immortel. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? My name is Joshua and this is our channel, Scent Sense. To the loyal subscribers who continue to stop by each and every time these videos come out, to you fine folks, wherever you may be, who watch these videos and continue to support the channel, I appreciate you so much. And to all you new people who may be checking out the channel for the very first time, or you haven't been around for a while and you're coming back, to you fine folks, I'd really enjoy it if you stuck around. Today's video is brought to you by the kind folks from Perfumology. My buddy near guy over at the fragrance store and website, Perfumology, sent me this fragrance for a review. Uh, I didn't get paid for it. I'm not gonna get paid for it. I don't get like some kind of deal by you buying from him or something, you know, nothing like that. He just thought I'd really enjoy the fragrance and he's trying to help the brand grow in the United States. So he said, I'd like to send it to you and you give your honest review of it. So here it is. The fragrance we'll be talking about is called Immortel from the fragrance house Manos Gerakinis. Manos Gerakinis is the namesake of the creator of this brand. He's a person who's from Greece. He's very rich in his heritage and a lot of his fragrances are definitely influenced by that. And this one takes a cake, almost literally. The fragrance namesake is named after a flower in Greek culture. It's called Immortel. This flower was named Immortel after the immortal beauty of Helen of Troy. When they were captured, they basically told her, Helen, you are the most beautiful woman of all. You rival Venus herself, and there we're gonna create a flower to be used as a remembrance of your eternal beauty, of your immortal beauty. You know those Greeks, they love their immortality. So before we go and jump into the fragrance, let's go ahead and check out the fragrance itself and the presentation. Let's look at how it looks. Starting it off, here's the box here. It's a pretty simplistic box. It's black in color. It's got the logo on the top of the box. It's got the name with the logo on here. It's got the concentration and size. And then on the bottom, as always with all of these fragrances, you've got that information like batch code, you know, ingredients that they are gonna tell you. They're not gonna tell you everything. And then of course, you know, the website of where it can be found and that it's made in Greece, which I think is really cool because a lot of fragrances are made in France or Italy or in the States. A fragrance made in Greece, I think that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and check out the bottle. So, sorry Manos, I do this all the time. Get it out of here. As you can see, it, it sits in the little box like this. It's pretty snug. And in fact, you probably could, yep, there you go. I got, you notice I got kind of scared like, oh. <laughs> anyway, let's get that out of here too. Heard how loud that was, it's heavy, heavy. So the bottle is a pretty simplistic square bottle. Uh, it's got, on the bottom, it's got the information like the fragrance name, the logo, the concentration, the amount of fragrance juice in the bottle. It's got a black label on the front with the loco, and it's got the uh, Immortel. It says Athens because Greece, Athens, Greece, and then the logo is on the cap. It can be held by the cap, it's pretty sturdy. This liquid is so, it seems thicker than most. I know that seems weird, but maybe it's just because of the oil concentration. It is a uh, eau de parfum, so that might be why. But I mean, it is a solid, solid glass bottle. I really like it. Let's check out the sprayer pretty good sprayer I mean it's not the greatest but oh man oh dude yeah that's the uh you know presentation immortality so let's talk about the notes in the top we have clove and cinnamon in the mid we have immortal and milk and in the base we have brown sugar benzoin sandalwood and patchouli so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on the skin So even though benzoin is a base note, I find that in the beginning, right out of the gates, you can smell the benzoin, you can smell the clove. It has this earthy, almost slightly dirty nature to it. 
I don't want to say charred or burnt, but maybe close to that. The brown sugar kind of has a, a, a little bit of a, of a presence here. I do think that it's got kind of a burnt brown sugar kind of feel to it when you put those together. The patchouli adds a little more earthiness also. There is a little sweetness because of the brown sugar, of course. Cinnamon is definitely present. It is a warm, spicy fragrance. And the weird thing is off the skin, if you to smell like this, you can definitely smell that the darker notes of it. You can definitely smell the more strong and decadent notes, but in the air, like as I waft it, it smells like the most deliciously sweet and decadent and yummy high-end gourmet cookie. There's just no other way to say it, man. It's got like this vanilla kind of vibe. I'm guessing that's from the Benzoin. It's got this like sweetness from the brown sugar. It, the sandalwood is there. It, 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 it's all of these things happening, but it has this really delicious smell. It almost has like an almond kind of vibe. It's not almond, but it's kind of like the feeling you get from an almond fragrance, that sweet, almost cherry-like feel, it's got that in here. The milk does lend, as cliche as it is, a creaminess to the fragrance, and I can definitely smell it, and it, it kind of smells like milk and cookies. I mean, that's a really good explanation or depiction of what this is, but it's, it's much more than that. I think if I smelled this on a woman, for lack of a better time, I feel like I'd want a liquor. I feel like I'd want to like nuzzle my face in her neck and just breathe her in. Like I feel like this has to smell amazing on a woman. And I feel like on a man, it's got a very alluring quality. And maybe the reason why off my skin I smell more darker notes is because of my skin chemistry. And I find that a lot of fragrances that have earthier notes and sweeter notes, the earthier or more masculine notes tend to work better on my skin, which I don't think is because I'm a man, I think it's just random. On my wife, those sweeter notes kinda pop out. So I feel like on her, this is gonna smell so sexy. I'm gonna be like, kids, time to go to bed. Go to bed. As far as performance, I'll be 100 with you. I've only gone on one date recently with my wife and that's because of the world and the state that it's in. But uh, on the date we went, I wore this, and that's why you can see I haven't worn much of this, but I do find that it works really well and it performs very, very, very well. I would say that this is a long-lasting fragrance with a moderate to mid projection. I do think it creates quite a scent bubble and it has a pretty good sillage, but I would have to say this is definitely an intimate fragrance that draws attention and keeps it there when you get closer. This is not one of those fragrances that either yells, hey, look at me, or sits really close to the skin. It's something in between. It's It's got that, hey, come over here and check me out, but you're gonna wanna stay because of the smell. I think that if I were to compare this to other niche fragrances out there, I don't think anything else smells quite like this, but I would say it would be in the same lane as like a Feb Delicios. This smells like a grown up, doesn't smell like a baby's butt, which is what I feel like Feb Delicios smells like. I feel like Feb Delicios smells like newborn baby. Like clean, but powdery. Just like, it reminds me of a baby. That's why I just, I'm not a fan of Feb. I feel like if I thought someone smelled really good with it on, I would feel like a predator. So I can't, I can't vibe with that one. But this one has this decadent, sexy aroma to it. I think this is perfect for fall time, I think it's gonna be great in the colder months, especially if you live up north. But I think you could get away with it right now in these spring months that are still kinda of cool. If you have a day or a night that's in the 50s to 60s, I think this would be pretty sexy. I think this is something you could dress up or dress down. I think that at the price point though, you're gonna to wanna to be dressed up because if you're spending this much money on this fragrance, you're probably wanting to wear it for special occasions because the average person doesn't have as many fragrances as some of us do. For all you people who have as many as I have, we have a problem. It's okay to face it, admit it, accept it, and move on. This fragrance can be had for $175 US. It is a 3.4 ounce. This one though, is in my opinion worth every one of those dollars. 
you're looking at roughly a dollar and change per ml. I know that seems kind of high when you can buy fragrances that range anywhere from 20 to $80, but this is what like Givenchy Play and fragrances like uh, any of the Mugler fragrances, those ones that have like those gourmand kind of vibes, those designer ones that just have a something lacking that aren't quite there, that's what this one does, man. And this one has got such a great, well-built body to it. It just, it smells like someone really took their time when making this and their goal was to just catch a mate, like to draw that significant other in, male or female, or whatever you're calling yourself these days. This was made with that intention in mind. Not just because it was sent to me by review by them, I do personally purchase from this website. I can show you receipts to prove it if that's necessary for all the haters out there. Uh, Perfumology.com is a great option to pick up this brand. They're one of very few places you can actually get it in the States. Uh, Perfumology also has a wide array of niche brands, but they have those niche brands that aren't just the Amouages and the Bond Number no. 9s and the Creeds and the Zerjoffs, the one that everybody talks about. They have these fragrance brands that deserve the attention, that have such high quality products at a much more affordable price than those really high-end luxury fragrances. And they're just really different and unique and special, just like Perfumology. So if you're interested in trying this fragrance, you can get samples of it from Perfumology. They do sell small samples of pretty much anything they have in stock, which is really neat. They also have a subscription uh, service. I'm sure if you contact Nier at perfumology.com and you let them know you're interested in doing that, you wanna get this in your first one, I'm sure he'd be more than welcome or more than fine to do that. I'm sure he'd welcome that idea. I do think that you should definitely check out this fragrance at a minimum. You should get your nose on it, especially in this day and age where blind buying and blind sniffing is a must because it's hard to get in and out of stores. I do think this is a great one. Also, you know, in today's day and age of the Bleu de Chanel's and the Dior Sauvages and, and those fragrances that are just mass appealing, there's not a whole lot of excitement to it. Not that those fragrances smell bad, but it's, it kind of gets boring after a while. So if you're an enthusiast and you want to smell something that's really going to evoke a response or tintillate your senses, say tintillate, throw big words in there every once in a while, this one would be a great, great option. So again, I'd like to say thank you to Nier and Manos for sending this fragrance my way and allowing me to share this with you guys. Have you smelled this fragrance? Have you smelled anything from the brand? What are your favorite gourmand fragrances? Let me know all of these things in the comment section below. So at this point in the video, I'm gonna do what everyone else does at this point and ask you to subscribe and like the video and comment and share and do all those things. Listen, if you don't want to, completely understand. But when you do those things, which cost you absolutely nothing, it helps the channel grow and it helps me find more people who are just like me to share my passion with. But anyway, lastly, but most importantly, I'll smell each and every one of you later. Peace.